Now the last tip, we're at tip number five. Remember the five concerns that CEOs have come to us after 90,000 coaching sessions with CEOs. Here's what they've told us. Number one, I wanna make something of myself. Number two, I don't wanna screw this thing up. Number three, I am in over my head or I'm in uncharted territory. Number four, can I sustain what we have? And number five, what's next for me? What's next? You know, in coaching, we're taught that the two greatest areas of distress are, number two, a client that comes to us and says, I know where I wanna go, but I have no clue how to get there. That's the second level of distress. One of the top level or the top level of distress that we've learned is that somebody who comes to us and says, I've achieved many of my life goals. Now what? They're asking themselves, now what? Well, there's plenty of classes and seminars and courses you can take about how to achieve goals. But when was the last time you went to that course that taught you what to do after you've achieved all of your goals? You probably have not been to that one, right? You probably, if you're listening to this video, you're probably the kind of person that has ticked a lot of the boxes off on your bucket list. Well, guess what, what is a bucket list? A bucket list is the things you ought to do before you kick the bucket, right? Well, guess what, you just did things on your bucket list. Guess what's next? Kicking the bucket, right, exactly. So in the world of goals, we know how to achieve them, then die. That doesn't sound very cool right now, especially if you're the kind of person who's achieved a lot of your goals already. So what's next for me is a really critical question that you need to ask and answer of yourself because if you do not, what you will do is start to sabotage your current results and you'll revert back to making yourself needed and, and creating problems and challenges in order to give you purpose, to make you feel needed, to make you feel somewhat fulfilled, even though it's an empty calorie, and make you feel like you're doing something, all right? But you, what you need to do, here's the fix, folks. Here's the fix, all right? Number five, create a life plan that will take you all the way to 100. All right, when was the last time you sat down and did a life plan? Wherever you are now, you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, maybe even your 70s. If you close your eyes right now and I said, imagine you at 100, can you even make the picture? Well, guess what? If you have a vision where you're not in the picture at 100, you ain't going to 100. If you don't have a picture of you at 80, you ain't making it to 80. Create a life plan where you look at the next decades of your life all the way up to 100 and beyond. If you're already 100, God bless you. Go to 130. Deepak Chopra has said, as, as of this writing, Deepak Chopra had said that given the current conditions, the current environment and medicine and the quality of life, we are designed to go to at least 130 years old. So make a life plan to take you to 130. How does that sound? But you must have a vision and see yourself in it well beyond all of your current goals, otherwise you will be haunted by the question of what's next for me? And believe me, the question, now what, is not the kind of question you want to be lingering around because your creative mind will come up with some less than resourceful uh, answers if you don't put a really well thought through plan in place. So that's what's next for you, your life plan.